All right, in this video, we're gonna learn how to take this photo and this photo of Anthony Edwards, and we're gonna turn it into this. If you guys aren't already subscribed, I do videos every week, so please subscribe. It would be much appreciated. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I did is mask out my subject, and you can do this by just clicking on the quick selection tool and then hit select subject if you're working on Adobe Photoshop 2020 or, or older. And then the next thing I did was uh, go into camera raw filter. Uh, every good editor obviously knows how to use camera raw filter. If you don't know how to use it, uh, it's pretty simple. With your player selected, go up to filter, then camera raw filter. And then you can adjust these sliders. Uh, I always focus on texture and clarity. It just makes it look a lot better. And after you've adjusted your camera raw filter, uh, the next thing I did was adjust the hue and saturation um, and what this does is just makes my uh, image pop a little bit color wise all right so the next thing I did was adjust the curves and the levels and I do this on every single one of my players just to adjust the shadows as well as highlights on my player um, if you don't know how to do this it's pretty simple click on your subject and then go down to new adjustment layer and then you want to go to levels and change your um, and change it to screen for your highlights and change it to multiply for your shadows or your dark parts of your uh, your subject. So if you don't know what I mean, there's certain areas where the uh, there's lights on your player. Uh, for example, you can see on Anthony Edwards' cheek and as well as close to his hair, uh, you can see there's light. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that a little bit lighter so it um, is shining a little bit. And then I'm going to make the dark parts like uh, around his jersey. I'm going to make those darker. All right. So the next thing I did was mask out my second photo, second player. And uh, same method, quick selection, select subject. And then there was parts that weren't selected. So... I just went to my quick selection tool and I just selected um, everything that I needed. Like there was parts of the shoe that weren't selected so I had to go back over those parts. Masking out is pretty annoying and it takes a while so that's why I always speed it up throughout my videos. Alright so the next thing I did was put the logo down and made it look like a platform that they were standing on. It's a pretty simple process. Get any logo that you want. Uh, I like to use circular ones because they just look the best. And once you have your logo, you're going to control and click on it and you're going to change the perspective on it so that it is uh, looking like it is flat to the ground. And then after I did that, I added a drop shadow to it and a drop shadow is just like a uh, stroke. But in this case, it's only showing on the bottom. So it looks like a platform. All right. The next thing I did was make my uh, my subject black and white. In the background and only revealed the uh, the jersey um, I did this by just making a black and white adjustment layer and then changing it to a darker color and then you can see that there is parts of the jersey that are uh, different colors than I wanted them to and so uh, what I did was just take my I took my paintbrush and I just painted over the layer to get rid of those parts of the black and white adjustment layer so that they return to normal. All right, the next thing I did was add my background. So I have different um, overlays that I use. I just used one of the overlays for my background. So it was like a blue slash uh, white rectangle. Um, and then I added some tape around the outside and then a bag overlay over top. And uh, I put it on lighter color because it, uh, it gave me a good look on my, uh, my subjects. It gave it like a, like a glassy look to it, which I really liked. The next part was just adding um, like tape and uh, different stickers to the outside to make it look a little bit better. I also needed to add shadows to my, uh, my subject so it looked like he was standing on the logo, um, as well as the, uh, the bigger Anthony Edwards, I wanted to add shadows. So it's pretty simple. What you do is you take your paintbrush and you put a black dot on the uh, on the screen, and then you're gonna want to just change what it looks like, and then add a Gaussian Gaussian blur. 
and what Gaussian blur does is just makes it a little bit blurry so it looks like a, a shadow like you can see and then I added a, uh, a bigger shadow underneath all of it and then this one I knew I wasn't going to want like a big black dot like it is so of course uh, I went up to filter and put in a Gaussian blur so it looks like uh, his shadow was right there so it looks pretty realistic and then I did the same thing for the, uh, the smaller Anthony Edwards I made two black dots for his feet and then put on a Gaussian blur again and then I had my uh, my shadows created it's pretty simple all right after I had my shadows created uh, I put on more tape to the outside and I wanted it to look like this was a like a poster taped up somewhere so I went with tape all around the outside and then I added a um, I added like a paper texture to the background and then after I got my paper texture I went with a, uh, a black overlay which I just painted on with a black paintbrush and then I changed the opacity a little bit so that it wasn't uh, showing as much and then after I added the opacity or lowered the opacity I tried out different blend modes so I went to overlay soft lay hard light I tried all those blend modes to see which one I liked the best I then added logos as well as Anthony Edwards signature in order to create a little bit of a background. This is my final result. If you guys could please leave a like if you have any comments or questions. We did hit 100 subscribers so I am going to do an overlay giveaway. Um, all that information is going to be in my next video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.